Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, was a deity of great beauty and elegance. Her charm was so strong that she attracted Poseidon, the god of the seas. The goddess rejected the attempts of the sea god, who seemed determined to conquer her. To escape from Poseidon, the goddess took the form of a mare, but the god was the lord of horses and transformed himself into a stallion to pursue the goddess of fertility. Demeter was caught and taken by force. From this unwanted union, two offspring were born, the divine-winged horse Arion and little Despina. Disgusted at having been raped, Demeter repudiated the child and left to purify herself in the river Laden, where all sorrows could be forgotten. Poor Despina grew up without her mother's love, and the young goddess's heart was filled with great resentment. Unlike Despina, Persephone, Demeter's daughter with Zeus, was loved and spoiled by her mother. This saddened the neglected daughter enormously. When Persephone left to meet Hades in the underworld, Demeter was always saddened and neglected her duties as goddess of agriculture. Despina would take advantage of this moment to destroy her mother's work. She generated frost that ruined the crops, and during the winter, the snow made the fields barren. She also froze rivers, lakes, and inlets to punish her father. Even though she had an icy heart, she found a loving partner in Boreas, a deity who represents the icy north wind. When Persephone, the goddess of spring, returned after a period in the underworld, she saw that the flowers, which she had cultivated with so much love, had been destroyed. And this is how she learned of the existence of Despina, her sister. Persephone and Despina met, and despite being goddesses of opposite natures, there was no room for disagreement between the sisters. They became friends, even with opposite tasks. Despina, the goddess of winter, was traveling the world taken by her husband, Boreas. He, with his icy wind, announced the arrival of the new season, 